What would happen if a Junji Ito manga, an episode of Adventure Time, and a David Lynch film all fused together? The answer would be Spa. A comedic, satirical, horrifying work of surreal, nightmarish mundanity. This might seem like an odd mishmash of concepts to lump together into one comic, but not only is this description extremely accurate, but the combination of these concepts works extremely well. I was at first drawn to Spa by the detailed depictions of terrifying pig creatures on the cover. A medley of beasts that felt like a cross between those old, uncanny Disney cartoons and a horror manga jump scare panel. Highly detailed and gruesome, yet characterful and sometimes downright zany. This set the mood for the comic perfectly before I even jumped into it. But what I wasn't expecting was the nature of the dialogue and pacing of the story. I could tell after only minutes of confused chuckling that I was about to experience a classic in the making. I am not exaggerating when I say there is truly nothing else out there quite like Spa. The book starts us off by following a couple of characters in their apartment building, which is filled randomly with corpses. We aren't given much explanation as to who these characters are, and seemingly, neither were they. The characters of this world seem just as out of the loop as the reader, which is a big part of what makes Spa feel so unique. Somewhere between a dream and a nightmare, the details never feel that important. Nothing really feels that important. We're just here to relax and unwind, after all. The perspective begins to jump around between many different characters as we are gradually introduced to the titular spa. We follow guests, workers, administrators, and owners through various parts of their time in the spa, never really being given much of a look outside. It feels at times as if there is no outside. The brief glimpses we do get later on only reinforce this feeling of bleak isolation. As time goes on and the little stories of these characters unfold, the atmosphere of rest and relaxation begins to fade gradually, further and further into the shadows. The inexplicable black sludge spreads. Characters start to get lost. Business tensions rise and strange beings begin to emerge. Before long, these short glimpses into the lives of various characters feel more like small slices of their own larger horror odysseys unfolding off camera without us. What we're left with from our limited perspective is a collage of mind-bending terror a medley of gruesome monsters, a constant stream of genuinely hilarious, awkward dialogue, and one constant recurring question. Why are we here? A question the reader asks of Spa as much as Spa asks of its readers. Spa is as much a biting commentary of consumerist society, elitism, business culture, and the wellness industry as it is a kaleidoscopic nightmare maze of claustrophobic terror. 
I've always been more of a fan of Japanese horror manga than I have been of any other sort of horror comic, mainly because I feel that they succeed more often in delivering a genuine horror experience, which can't be simply boiled down to action, drama, or the look at these cool monsters variety of horror. But Spa is one of those rare books that gives me renewed hope for horror in comics outside of Japan. This is only a debut work by Swedish creator Eric Svetoft, and I am very excited to see where he will go from here. So that sums up this review. I hope you guys have found this interesting. I'd like to do more of these essay slash review type videos to let you know about some of what I've been reading that I think is really cool. Uh, I was at the uh, Toronto Comic Arts Festival recently, and that's where I found Spa. I was looking around, uh, not too sure that I would find anything that's really up my alley. My tastes are pretty specific, especially when it comes to horror. Uh, but I saw the cover of this book and immediately knew it was going to be something that I'd be into. Just the illustrations alone were right up my alley. And uh, I'm so glad I picked this up because it's not often I get to find something that I'm as excited about as I was about this book. Uh, and I really lucked out because uh, I managed to pick it up on a day that the author was actually there and was signing books. So I managed to get these cool Some nice little doodles. Wonderful little illustration. Just a beautiful cherry on top of uh, a great book. So I hope you guys check this book out. This has been a relatively spoiler-free uh, review, so even though I did go into a bit of the details, believe me, uh, this really doesn't tell you much about what actually goes on in this book. You should absolutely pick it up and give it a read. Uh, if you like horror manga, you'll like this. If you like any of the uh, similar types of media that I mentioned, David Lynch films, weird comedy cartoons like Adventure Time, Junji Ito manga, you'll love this. It's uh, It's got a little something for everybody, so uh, definitely check this out. Give this video a like if you thought this was cool. Subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment to let me know if you're gonna pick this up and uh, let me know if there's anything else you think I should review or you'd like to see me talk about. As usual, I have been Mr. Horror Manga, and I will see you guys in the next one.